Hi, I am Lakshman. In this video, I will be showing you how to install Jekyll on Windows. Uh, whatever Windows operating system you are using, be it Windows 7, 8 or 10, it does not matter. So, installing Jekyll in Windows is pretty easy. Uh, the way I am showing is, what you need to do is, go to railsinstaller.org. So, this is the site, railsinstaller.org. And when you open this, uh, so uh, the reason why I am mm, telling you to download uh, or install the Jekyll from here is actually we don't install Jekyll first we need to install Ruby and then uh, Jekyll is a gem so first we need to install Ruby on our computer system and then uh, we install Jekyll so, mm, so to run Jekyll we need to have the Ruby and white while well, like uh, deployment uh, or let's say when you want to push it to github then uh, git becomes handy like you, you use github or uh, let's say git uh, the repository person control management system so that it would be easier for you uh, so all these things are uh, included here and I recommend you to download this so I have uh, so if you click here then it will download you download you the file so it is around 112 only and it might take a while so i have already downloaded so this is the file so just double click it to install okay okay so like i am at the end of the installation so here is the option configure git and SSH when installation has completed so I'll uh, keep it saved because these are necessary when using um, let's say when using github through SSH or uh, when you are using git okay if you don't know just leave it so okay after this uh, uh, command prompt is automatically opened so what it says here is uh, your git configuration is incomplete so we are configuring git because uh, in our package there is git also basically we don't need rails but like it's in the package so we might need it so it gets downloaded uh, we need bond law too okay uh, is enter your name for example my name is Owen. okay so just enter your name my name is Lockman just next Okay, please enter your email address for example my name so uh, give your email address uh, give your email address that you have used for signing up in github okay actually I don't think it matters okay so uh, even if you don't have github account then it won't be problem here you can give you give your an email address so like uh, it, it has generated a SSS key and has been automatically copied okay so we have come to the end of installation so what uh, has been done is you you can see here the different git version is here and mm, okay so uh, the rails person is here okay so this is the username and email for the github so okay so let me show you where our applications will be residing the location is c sites okay if you go to c uh, here you'll see a new folder generated by our uh, rails installer application so if you go here uh, the different application the Jekyll application will be installed here so uh, if you uh, click on all programs you, you will see here the rails application okay so uh, <coughs> command prompt with ruby on rails so this is okay let me close this one okay so now to generate any site or to work on Jekyll and I will open this and basically I enter the command here I, I supply the command here and I work from the command line actually Jekyll 
we do in the kill we pretty much walk through the command line so so just to confirm our installation let's do ruby so ruby is a programming language and as you gives the root version of the ruby programming language installed similarly rails dash q so rails is a framework built on top of ruby okay so let's check if there is jekyll or no so jekyll is not installed so what we need to do is uh, let's install jekyll by a command okay i think i need to increase the font let it be so zen z e m zen install so uh, if you are new to command line then it might be a little bit harder for you to adapt to such kind of commands but trust me it will be e it will be easier in the time uh, as we as you start using this so you can just google anything you don't know so zen is a kind of plugin zen install z kill okay so mm, we are telling the system to install a gem named Zekil. So uh, yeah. also we need one another gem that's bundler. Uh, so it is also es essential. I'll tell you why it is essential in other part. So, okay, please don't mind the language. Mm, or you can also separately do it. Like first you do gem install Zekil and then in the Second part you can do gem install bundler, but you can save your time by just attending here. Okay, okay, this might ask for your firewall permissions. So I have allowed any uh, the progress is shown here, different packages are being installed. Now it's fetching bundler. This might take a while, so be patient and see you. Okay, so it has been updated now. Uh, let's check if the installation is successful or not what you do is type zekyll j e k y l l space dash and v for the version so it says zekyll 3.6.2 has been installed similarly we can do bundler dash v so the version of bundler is this one so this is how we basically install Zekil on Windows. So the, like mm, there are different ways, but I think this is the easiest one. You, you download the installation package from mm, Rails installer. So there are two different packages. So it's better if you download the latest one. These are the newest versions, and mm, and then you execute it, and it gets installed as an application and to run it you just open up this command prompt so it opens as a the command prompt so like and then everything you do here is through command so the, uh, this much for this video so I'll in next video I'll just tell you how to generate a site in Zekil so it's very easy with a single command you can generate a, a, a nice looking or blog site so yeah check my next video thanks for watching have a good day bye bye